today we are going on a balloon patrol. Uh, not for the enemy, you'll see, but we're going, uh, we're going up north. Um, we're going up north and we are going to uh, protect the friendly balloons. The Frenchmen and some other chaps we're fighting with have sent up balloons and they're completely unprotected. And uh, we need to go over there and uh, see what's going on. It's perfectly reasonable. Uh, you see, we are down here. In uh, Bayeux, Berge, yes. Uh, Bayeux alone, yes. And we're going up uh, past Popper Inch and uh, attacking them at first. Yes, well, there are multiple airfields up there, but none of them have uh, Sir Reginald Wolverhampton and Mr. Potluck. And if I was high commander, I wanted to be damned sure that our balloon stayed damn well protected, and I would send up none other. I'm sure those airfields up there are full of Frenchmen. So, without further ado, let's let's get these kites into the air. Go there. Start the engines. All right. Yes, sir. Yes. <clears throat> Looks like a fine day, sir. There we go. Yes, a fine day indeed. And you have the mission down straight. We're going uh, north by northwest. Uh, set the mixture, start the engine. Beautiful day. Bit of a breeze, so remember to uh, put your nose down as soon as you start rolling. What a lovely day. Those Frenchies will never know what hit them, and uh, no wait, the Germans, yes, the Germans will never know what hit them. Speaking of Frenchies, I uh, thought this was an excellent opportunity to bring some of these new fangled Le Prieur rockets along. Oh, but so we're supposed yes. to protect the balloons. Yes, but I've heard that they are just the thing for dogfights. I see. They are rolling. And I'm up. Temperamental bird, this thing. Are you doing, Mr. Pocket? I'm uh, getting off the ground now, sir. Well, then. Excellent. And we're up. Good, good. A full flight of beautiful new ports. All right, I will do a circuit to the left, and we will uh, link back up. All plates, follow me. Thing I had this compass installed. No, but I can't say the engineers put in a very good spot, sir. No, no, they never do, do they? Well, you can't expect too much of them, Mr. Potlocket. They are commoners, after all. And French, right? Yeah, most of them. It's not easy, Mr. Potlocket, being both French and a commoner. Say, sir, why are we flying French planes? Uh, logistical issues, mostly, yes. Yes, you see, our uh, English planes are far better machines, and uh, so they are quite uh, difficult to, to move, yes. And we have to ship them all the way over here. True, it's quite, uh, quite a distance, sir. And so we have to uh, do the honourable thing by our French allies and take their shit kites up for a spin every now and then. After all, the alternative is not to fight the uh, Germans at all, and that wouldn't do, Mr. Bottle. Simply not the gentlemanly thing. But uh, soon enough, Mr. Bottle, soon enough the uh, English planes will arrive en masse, and then, oh, then won't Fritz be happy. 
can tell you why I will. Very happy indeed. Do you see anything in the front? Yeah, well, I see uh, the horizon and uh, bits of France. But no, nothing much. And to be honest, we have still have quite a ways to go. Yes. I wish the wind was blowing the other direction, to be honest. And that they didn't send us home all the way over there all the time. What is what the uh, French say? Sell a bee. Yes. De la vie of a British gentleman to go where his king wants him to. Go where his country needs him. I agree. Don't get me wrong, Mr. Bottlegut. I am the first to admit that sailing against the wind in French airplanes in January all the way up to the coast is uh, far from pleasurable. But one must, Mr. Potlocket, make an effort for the Commonwealth. Wouldn't you say? Indeed, sir. For king and country. Yes, for king and country. We are out there hoping something would happen after their war crime. We'll have to do it again, later. I say, what other tune are we at? Hmm. Um, Sixteen. Sixteen, sir. Yes. Sixteen French units. Which gauge are you looking at, sir? Yeah, I have them installed an altimeter in my aircraft reporting. Yeah, which one is that, sir? Uh, along with the, uh... It's the, uh... Well, I only have the two, to be honest. Uh, well, I have the compass, and above that, I have the uh, RPM gauge. Yes. Attack him, attack the thing. Yes, whatever they call it. Comte de Tour, Jager Paris. Yes. It's showing a lot of Jager Paris at the moment. And then uh, to the upper left of that, I have this brownish gauge. With many, 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 many. Completely illegible numbers, yes. yes. That's the one. And right now it's showing 16 Frenchmen. Ah. Uh, where are those darn balloons? They are ours, sir. Uh, yes, yes, there are, but where are, are they? Two are one of us, sir. I see two of them right by the river. That flag, sir, is coming awfully close to you. Nonsense. Oh! Actually, yes. I say, that flag is coming awfully close to me. Um, but why then? Um, yes, because that's a friendly flag. Saying one o'clock. Yes, they they are hovering there over that little forest. Over the river, on our side of the line. Yes, straight straight over the river, sir. Right in front of us, slightly blurred. 
And I do believe our flat batteries are trying to kill us again. Oh, that's not um, on the two o'clock. That's uh, eleven o'clock. Uh, uh, true. Sorry, sir. British yes, time. Yes, I see them now. Uh, but fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on how you see it, I uh, do not yet spy any hostile aircraft. No. So let's continue up the coast. They show themselves. Mm. We do have a balloon mark on the map, sir. Yes, I do. An unfriendly one. Unfriendly one? Nonsense. Oh. This part of it, I see a hostile balloon. Over yonder. And after all, we need to come equipped with uh, anti-German rocketry. We're not heading for our balloon now, sir. Yes, but we still have the mission to consider. First, we go check on the balloon. The balloon is well. Now we go check on theirs. <laughs> Excellent idea. You're entering another barrage, sir. Yes, I have uh, noticed. Why is it that uh, our flak hates us so much, do you think? I'm not sure, sir. I'm not sure. Could it be that the Germans actually have infiltrated our lines, sir? Nonsense. I don't see anything burning. And you know how these Germans are. They're incapable of strolling down the street without setting fire into something. Just like in the Napoleonic Wars, our rocketry will be their downfall. Sir, I'm getting scared here. Yes, what? They're what, peltering what? me with flax, sir. Deal yourself, Mr. Potlocker. We are at uh, 15 Frenchmen. They can't hurt us this altitude. Not with that damn bad luck on your part, I'd say. <laughs> Don't fear the black the boy. It is just as scared of you as you are of it. <laughs> Very well. Uh, I think uh, High Command probably wants us to go check on the other side of the line as well. So that they're not just waiting there until we, uh, until we look the other way. Exactly. That's the prudent thing to do, Miss Bottle. It does sound like that. Yes, sir. And plus, I'm not putting this damn kite down until I've had a chance to fire off these rockets. Locate that balloon. It's 
Straight ahead, sir. Straight ahead. Is it ready? Yes. Maybe a bit to your right. Scan. But it should be there. Right in my sights. Yes. Balloon hair. Or my swell. I will uh, keep the throttle back a little bit. I'm going to shallow dive. Anticipating, of course, that they will start to reel her in. Fearing what might otherwise occur. But Mr. Port Lockhart, it shall occur nevertheless. I say, chaps, follow me in. File on my lead. Break off to the left once my rockets have been fired. So, yes, I don't think that balloon looks quite like ours. Uh, yes, that is possible, uh, but you will notice that they are reeling her in, and also, I don't think the uh, men holding this part of the uh, line will have advanced quite so far. No, this balloon is running scared, Mr. Potlocket. I think it's... Sticky. Running scared, Mr. Potlocket. Doesn't look like they're reading it in. Then they are fools. That is indeed true, sir. Ah, oh, they are really a bit now. I should hope so. For their sake. Or are they? No, they're not. German balloon is bottle cut. Brave sods. Completely destroyed, sir. Yes. German. Well, I say tally ho, sir. Tally, tally ho. For King George and Britain. Forever. I'll uh, put her in uh, the leftmost of the wide hangers, I think. The bloody Frenchman has put a bunch of junk all over the uh, hangar entrance. What a blatant disregard of procedure. What even is that? A gramophone? A gramophone, I tell you. This is not a bawdy musical. Is it, Mr. Bottom? No, it's not, sir. It's a war. And what in the bloody blazes is a gramophone doing in front of my hangar? Is that you coming to landing? Excellent. Let me clear the uh, landing field. Over there. Oh, keep us steady, Mr. Potlocket. Nose up, nose up, nose up. Careful. Don't worry. Practically perfect. Practically perfect. Yes. Look. Wings whole. 
This wing is also whole. <clears throat> A marvel of engineering. Indeed. Um, hmm, it's even shut down the engine. Can't see our wingman. Yeah. Really? Well, they're yeah. about, I guess. Can't even hear them. Lovely bird you have. Thank you. Thank you. For a French plane, she's quite a beaut. They say. All right. Very well. That's it. That's all for today, I think. Um, it is. I'd rather fancy like requesting a bit of leave. Yes. It seems. Uh, would you say we uh, go uh, abroad? <laughs> go abroad to England, perhaps? A few weeks until uh, this winter air is well gone off. I yeah, think. and uh, the Hun has gotten a bit more steel in his stomach and gotten back here, so we can defeat Indeed, him. Yes, yes, I would rather look forward to coming back to the front, uh, possibly in your berth, who knows, but uh, certainly to a more aggressive uh, Willem and uh, yes, overall more interesting missions. Indeed, sir. No, I think indeed we shall uh, we shall go to uh, we shall go to uh, Parliament in England, and I shall speak to my friends, and uh, we'll see if we can't do something to uh, to uh, stir things up with the Hun. Sounds like an excellent idea, sir. Yes, so uh, get over there and uh, start packing my bags, and uh, I'll be there shortly. Roger, sir. Well, I'll see you. Good afternoon. See you on the plane to England, sir. Or boat. <laughs>